Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray and today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Caesar salad as well as a slightly modified version of it. Let's cook! Make some croutons by slicing up some sourdough. You can of course replace the sourdough with your favorite bread. I just personally love sourdough better in this dish because of the flavor and the texture. As you can see, I'm cutting sourdough into two different shapes. One is for the traditional version and the other one is for the modified version. Slice up some streaky bacon into strips. Place all the sourdough pieces onto a tray lined with baking paper. And also make a small container out of aluminum foil lined with baking paper for the bacon. Then place all the bacon in one layer. Drizzle some olive oil onto the bread and onto the bacon just to get it started. And so the bacon cooks evenly. Put some salt and pepper onto the sourdough. And pop it into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes for the croutons and 15 minutes for the bacon. Slice one chicken breast into halves. Flatten it out with the back of the knife so it cooks faster. Rub it with some garlic paste or minced garlic. Add some dried rosemary and salt on both sides and set it aside to marinate for at least 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can move on to the dressing. Mix a quarter cup of mayo with the juice of half a lemon. Then add about 6 slices of anchovy fillets, chopped into small pieces. One teaspoon of garlic paste, half tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of salt and black pepper, and mix it well. Now we're gonna make the soft boiled egg. Prepare a simmering pan of water with a dash of vinegar. When you can start seeing some bubbles, put in the eggs carefully and let it simmer for 7 minutes. Try to keep the water on gentle simmer like this. And don't forget to move the eggs around to make sure they cook evenly. After 7 minutes, turn off the heat and move the eggs into a bowl of ice water. To make peeling easier, crack the eggs and put it back into the water and leave it for 1 minute. This way the water will get in between the egg and the shell and make it easier to peel. When done peeling, dip it back into the water to make sure there is no shell pieces left. Now we're gonna start with the chicken. Heat up a griddle pan with some olive oil and when you can see some smoke, place in your chicken and cook it for about 2 minutes on each side. When the chicken is cooked and has some nice grill marks, take it out of the pan and let it rest on the plate. At this point, we're pretty much done and we just have to put everything together. As you can see here, I have some cost lettuce that I have cut and washed as well as all the other ingredients that I have prepared so far. For the modified version of Caesar salad, we're gonna need to do one extra step because we're gonna use the whole cost lettuce heart instead of just the leaves. All you need to do is to pick the other leaves, cut off the bottom part, and split it in half. Then we're gonna put it onto a hot grill pan for about 1 minute or until it has grill marks. To serve, all you need to do is put enough lettuce in a mixing bowl. Put as much or as little dressing as you need and mix it around. Slice up the chicken breasts. Then slice the egg into two. As you can see, the yolk is still runny. And now we can start plating. Just place the salad leaves into the plate. Top it with some slices of chicken. As well as the half boiled egg. The crispy bacons. And finally, some croutons. And there you have it guys, the traditional look of scissor salad. To plate the modern version of it, start by smearing some of the dressings on the plate. Then arrange the grilled lettuce on top. Slice up the chicken in an angle.
place it in and around the letters. Top it with the half boiled egg. Scatter some bacon around. And finally, put a slice of crouton on top. And there you have it guys, my slightly modified version of Caesar salad. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and if you did, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And here are links to my previous videos, so check it out guys. Links and measurements gonna be in the description box below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you wanna see me cook next week. See you next time guys, bye!